Breeding for money. Ooh. What do you think of that? Well, I don't think breeding for money is horrible because there's this idea that it's like, no, you're not allowed to make money off breeding. And I, I think when you have time invested, you can't make money. But I think there's people that aren't keeping up the standards of breeding while maintaining making money. Okay? But there is some crazy stuff out here and I will let Jason finish it because he got me on a rant, so. I'm Jason Arsenault, former law enforcement dog trainer and owner of the best dog training company in the world. And I'm Dan Arsenault, wife, dog trainer, and apparently very passionate about everything I talk about. <laughs> very. So, okay, so this, where's this coming from, you ask? We got a message sent to us yesterday about a person selling... Mixed breed dogs. Mixed breed dogs. And you'll never guess what this breed is. The two breeds. A Malinois and a Chihuahua. Chihuahua. And they called it a Malin. Malin Chi. And they're selling the puppies for three thousand dollars. And this is going to be the first litter. Now, I'm guessing that the female is a Malinois. I'm hoping, hoping. <laughs> that the female is a Malinois. Yes. But. First, I, okay, so here's the thought process behind this. First of all, we got this message and I was mad. I was going to shit all over this person. ad, yeah. this person. But then it got me thinking this would be a good discussion and maybe there's a point that I'm missing from this. Now, I'm going to lay out a couple things where I think that, you know, my line of reasoning, my thought process behind why I don't think this is a good idea. And then Jenna can have her information and then we're gonna open it up and I hope some people comment on this because this is a pretty important topic, I think, um, as a dog trainer and we do a little bit of breeding ourselves. Mm -hmm. So first of all, I'm going to say that a Chihuahua was first created for food mm -hmm. for people and to accompany them to the basically they other would side. yes they would sacrifice chihuahua it's very the history of chihuahua oh, no sorry they're very unclear like it's all just through findings and stuff but primarily used for food and helping they would use them as sacrifice to help people when they died get to the afterlife mm -hmm. so those are what that's what chihuahuas were bred for now malinois were bred for a totally different purpose they're a working breed mm -hmm. and now used for police and military so combining the I don't I don't see a point in combining these two breeds because I'll tell you because I think it, it, there's no need basically a chihuahua if you can look if you look and find a good breeder you're going to find a breeder that can produce what do you say? Working, working line performance. chihuahuas, performance press, yep. uh, pre presses, chihuahuas, performance chihuahuas. Yeah. And these chihuahuas will have a higher drive. They'll want to work. They'll um, be biddable, that kind of thing. Um, but you have to hunt for them. If you have to look for them. Now I'm you getting could, one. Yeah. There's a lot of. Work. We've done a lot of research, or Jen has done a lot of research Years. on a, on proper breeders of chihuahuas, where you know you can find a. A performance that is going to be able to do some of the mm -hmm. things that you, maybe you want to do for it and that's the only reason I could see adding a Malinois to a Chihuahua but you can find them in a Chihuahua now they already bite a lot of them the poorly bred mm -hmm. ones will bite and they, you know it's, they already mm -hmm. have their kind of sketchy behaviors but there's not and you're not going to create a smaller Malinois with it no. so I don't really see a point the other thing I want to say is that when you breed dogs, typically in the working world anyway, you want to breed, so I'm, I'm talking working world because we're dealing with, we're talking about Malinois here. You want to breed something that is going to better the breed. Yes. 
you don't want to put two um, dogs that don't complement each other or that have issues maybe are sketchy maybe are mm -hmm. too aggressive or anything like that together because you're creating a dog that isn't going to be better than the first dog and that's the whole point of breeding is to evolve and to create better than yeah, what exactly. was before yeah. so this isn't being done in this situation and i know some of you are going to come at me but like and i, I know this breeds have started somewhere there always hasn't been um a maltese so there always hasn't been a malinois or mm -hmm. you know or a pressa whatever these breeds have started somewhere by mixing other breeds but there typically is a general purpose behind the breeding sports um guardians companions mm -hmm. that kind of thing now that you something that you can't get by one you have to combine and get better to make that you know mm -hmm. a better dog but in this case and then and then another point 